Well hi there folks. Thought I'd give you a bit of an update on what I'm calling my little hunter. Now this is a little RC glider foamy converted into a swept wing plane which kind of vaguely has got the swept wings of a, of a hunter. Well I'm calling it a little hunter anyway. Now if you're not familiar with these little gliders once a year they're in the shops about £10. This was a pink one but I've actually managed to spray it into this lovely silver colour and it's even got a gloss to it. There will be a build blog for the little hunter when it's finished and maidened. That will be coming out soon but I made a short video explaining how I managed to get the silver paint to stay on and I'll link that at the end. I've installed the elevator servo but I'm waiting for some more servos which I ordered from China. Usually get them in about 10 days. This has been three weeks now still no sign of them. I'm keeping it as light as possible there won't be any carbon in it and it's not much more than 100 grams at the moment because I don't if I if it's heavy it's going to be a super fast plane and I'd rather just it was a fun to fly nice looking plane if you like. Motor's going to be a BR1806 with a 5x4 prop which is the same as on my little Spitfire and a build blog for this is on my channel this flies really well and there should, there's more than enough thrust for this I'll put it on the screen I forget what the thrust is say with the 2S but more than enough thrust motors coming tomorrow actually but like I say I'm waiting for servos the big hunter is in fact a scaled up version of my mini little hunter and this flies really well too it was a little bit underpowered but I've actually with a 3S now it's good and you'll notice similarity between this one which has got a little proper little cockpit I've actually made a proper little cockpit for this one by hollowing out the EPP foam bit of plastic bottle and it's even got a little pilot I don't think you do if you can see it so that's all done did that while I was still waiting for these servos so as you can see won't be long before I get this finished however I have hit what I think is going to be a potential problem by using some online software I determined where the CG is going to be on this also using the method of 25 to 30 percent of the cord and then taking midpoint and coming across. Now both points I get are here and I think it's going to be exceedingly difficult with a motor on the nose here which is quite a long nose, servos here which are still behind the centre of gravity and as I say I'm keeping it as light as possible. I think it's going to be very difficult to avoid it being nose heavy and I hate the idea of having to add lead. As you can see here I can actually get the battery, right, well you can't see but I can actually get the battery right down here so that's as far back as it can possibly go. Receiver and speed controller won't be heavy. The little motor is about 30 grams but I can see that I might end up having to add some lead to the tail. So I'm kind of wondering really if anyone's got any suggestions what I can do. The only other thing I could do which would weaken it considerably I think would be to actually make a hatch here and put a battery back here somewhere but I don't really think that's a goer. So as I said I can't really see any other solution apart from adding dead weight lead at the tail. So if anyone's got any ideas what I can do to avoid putting lead on here I'll be pleased to hear it. But in the meantime I'll show you what I'm doing to keep me busy. You may have seen my own design F16. I'll put some links to the maiden of this and the build blog for this. Great little fun plane. Anyway I decided I was going to scale it up so this is the bigger version motors on it and again a BR1806 scaled up by I think 25% but as you can see waiting for servos and the other thing I'm working on which I just started on today is my little conversion number 11 of the big ones I've made it five of the small ones actually including biplanes singles twins whatever my my number 11 big little version which is going to be a kind of speed machine. As you can see I've straightened and chopped the wings and actually it's got a bit of anhedral I shall take that out but I want to make it kind of aerobatic chop the wings here chop the wings there. I've already got a motor lined up for it and it's going to have quite a bit of grunt because this one here is a BR2204 with a three bladed 5040. Loads of power there the idea being I'm going to give it some really big ailerons to make a kind of aerobatic version of the little. Like I say it's number 11. I've been through everything from singles, twins, 
biplanes, my Vulcan, which you might have seen last week, and twin fuselages. So that's going to be coming soon once I get my Hunter sorted. So anyway, hope you found that interesting. Uh, if you've got, like I say, if you've got any suggestions how I can avoid this centre of gravity issue, please let me know in comments. But that's all for now. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a like, helps my algorithms. And if you want to see how I get on with this latest one and this one, don't forget to hit subscribe. But anyway, I'll stop rabbiting on. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll catch you all again soon. And hopefully I'll get this finished soon once these servos turn up from China. But anyway, bye for now. Catch you later.